Well, here we are. <laughs> Day one of our next adventure. And where are we? We're in Dover. And where are we going? We're going to the European continent, the continent of Europe. <laughs> and how long for this time? About three months. Yeah. So this time we're going to go north. So we're going to go up to the Netherlands and then down across through Germany, across to Italy, we think. But it depends where the sun is. But before that, we've got three days here at a rally with our, one of our Facebook groups called Road Roamers. And I think there's about 40 vans due this weekend. And there's a few here already. And we've got fire pits set up over there, ready for tonight. A few caravans. And what a great spot. Oh, too fast. And this is where we are. Not a bad start to a three month trip. May the sun keep shining. Oh, the light. We're back. <laughs> right, we'll do some more videoing across the weekend. So, this is our little fire. Over there is Stuart's massive bonfire. Yeah, you're feeling a bit cold there, Stuart. <laughs> if you didn't have that big insulated jacket on, you'd feel the warmth for the for the fire. Wait a minute. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's lovely. <laughs> There's a, a lot of smoke coming off this wood though. It's very smoky. <laughs> Bunch of smoke came out of your mouth there. I'm not surprised, you know. Oh no, I think it's just the cold. Oh, maybe it's the smoke. Oh, I think it's the smoke. Yeah, I don't, I don't think the are going to I've got no idea what, what that wood is, but it's the smokiest wood I've ever used. Yeah, I shouldn't have seen I can't believe it. Maybe looking at the, uh, you can see the wind and the light. Oh, yeah, 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 right, right, yeah, yeah. It's got a wee bit of a gust going. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Gusting a bit. Right, there you go. So I'm going to do the limbo. Well, that's quite a few fire pits, isn't it? to the tunnel. See the white 
cliffs. Here we go again. We're at passport control. <laughs> Bit of a queue, so it might take a while. But we had to go into the terminal again because booking with the caravan and motorhome club there, you can't check in online, so you have to go and put your passport details in. But that's okay, it gave us a chance to get a, a Starbucks. So we've got coffee to see us through the 40 minute journey on the tunnel. <laughs> And the last probably large coffee we get because of course in continental Europe they just do little coffees. <laughs> they have nice they have a nice supply of coffee beans there. Yeah, first stop the ocean. <laughs> Stock up on wine and coffee. <laughs> right. We may be a while. Well we're through passport control. And surprise, surprise. I got another stamp in my passport. Oh, got it upside down. So last time we came in they, they stamped me in, but I never got stamped back into the UK. But they've, they've stamped me back out again. <laughs> oh well. We're all going on a summer holiday. <laughs> <laughs> no more work for a week or two. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! We're on our way. Okay. Done. You didn't scratch my home. <laughs> <laughs> now it's your turn. <laughs> okay. And we're off. We're in France. French soil. And the first stop is the French supermarket to get some French wine. Well, <laughs> here we are <laughs> in Dunkirk. Look at the beach. <laughs> yeah, it's a massive beach. Looks better the other way though, and we haven't got all those uh, industrial things going on over there. Let's turn around. Boats. That's the boats, that's the plume of smoke from the boats that are working. Look at this beach. That's quite a nice beach. Is that nice? And I can't believe I forgot my new selfie stick with the gimbal on left it in the van <laughs> <laughs> gonna have to get used to getting that out because I forgot <laughs> yeah, it's because we don't have the, the GoPro we decided not to replace it no I got a new phone and said hopefully this camera's better with a selfie stick with a gimbal on which is in the van but I will bring that out tomorrow <laughs> yeah. but look at this these houses aren't they incredible all the way that the different architect on each house, oh, different designs. It's quite incredible, isn't it? So this is our first night, first stop, and we're parked in the car park of the Dunkirk Museum because we're going to go there in the morning. 
and then we're going to head on to Belgium. Yeah. Taste the sun. <laughs> it's been quite nice today. Yeah, it's now about, must be about six o'clock at night now. Yeah. And it's clouded over a little bit, but it's been a lovely day. It has been. So now we need to go and see if we can find a restaurant for dinner. Yep. Monday in France. Yeah, we forgot. A lot of stuff shut on a Monday. Never mind. We'll find somewhere. Or we'll eat in the van. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we've got lots of wine. We've got of wine. For at yeah. least 18 days. <laughs> <laughs> well, we've come across an interesting thing. Yeah. I'm a bit unsure what it is. I can see lots of drill holes through there. Yeah. I don't know. It's a sculpture park. It says, which is, we're actually parked just the other side of those trees. And just behind us is this sculpture park. Today we're going to go into Operation Dynamo, the museum, Dunkirk Museum, and see what this is all about. What do you think? Let's go. Says. This is the air in Dunkirk. It's free. <laughs> so they have got services, but they're out of order at the moment. As you can see, it's all, all fenced off. So yeah, there's a drive over drain. Yeah, I think when it's done, I'll be okay. Had a very quiet night last night. All I could hear was the rustling of the trees. There's some building work going on over there, which you can hear now. But that was just during the day, so that was fine. The only thing I would say is it's on a bit of a slope. And this is the third level up of the car park. And um, <clears throat> you can park on the second, which is flatter, but last night when we got here, that was full, but full of cars. And the motorhomes were up here. Although everyone seems to have parked the wrong way, so we did the same. But someone came in this morning and they've parked the right way. So if everyone had parked the right way, you'd get a lot of vans in. But it is very quiet. It is only May. Yep, yeah, May. And just behind us is the sculpture park that we went to yesterday. But yeah, it's a little bit of a slope, so we're down at the front. But that was okay. Very safe place. Well, I think I would stay here again. Good for the tunnel, because we're only about maybe an hour away. Belgique. Belgique, 800 metres. to Bell. 
Jim. across the border, as soon as I missed it when you drive across the Portuguese one. <laughs> campsite for a couple of nights because we're going to cycle into Bruges tomorrow yeah. so we're only about 10 kilometers outside and this campsite is on a lake or maybe just a large pond it's a very big pond, <laughs> pond. <laughs> and look at that I can't remember what they call those those inflatable obstacle course yeah We'll be having a shot of that tomorrow. Yeah, maybe. And it's got a little beach. It looks like they're working on it just now. I can see the guy setting it up, checking it. Uh, getting ready yeah. for the summer. Yeah, there's looks somebody. Like Jack skis. Someone over there working on it. I can't see him now. Hang on, I've zoomed in. I'm going to zoom back out. So this is the entrance to the motorhome park and there's a car park over there to park in while you check in. Recycling bins and rubbish bins just outside the gate here. And reception and a bar and an ice cream parlour. Although this side of it seems to be closed at the moment so we checked in over at the main entrance over where the pool is not the pool the uh, lake but actually when you look over here spin it round the lake is just past those buildings so it's not too far to walk and I can see the road still from here but you can't hardly hear it it's quite busy, although the, most of the pitches are empty. And if we go over here, there's a little kiddies pool which looks closed. Yeah, loads of things for children to do. There's an adventure playground for them. Slides and swings and climbing frames. More oh, my kids would have loved it here when they were little. They got bouncy castle over there. Let's just go and see where we're pitched. Blue building up there are the showers and toilets, and the grey uh, black waste. This is our pit, which is quite a big pitch the chairs out and then if we come around this side water. yeah water's around here electric point and then around this side you've got water so that'll be easy to top up before we go So this one is 22 euros a night with the Axie card and I think that's well worth the money. Ooh, well it's all happening here. There's 
is Market Square and the market is just closing up. I think we missed that. being back in El Rocco. <laughs> lots of bicycles. Yeah, lots of bicycles. Alright, let's go to Berg Square. Yeah. <laughs> Is the Berg. We come round the front and get the pictures of the horses. Let's go around the front to get the horses. Oh, oh there's a chocolate here. <laughs> Told you it was famous for chocolate. We might have to go and have a look and buy some. Okay, give us a smile. Well, this is lovely. Yeah. Quite impressive, isn't it? Look at that. Bonkers. We're doing some sightseeing. Yeah, in blue. Look at that. That is just fantastic. I've just gone too far forward. That lovely little. Piece over there, another tourist doing the horse thing. Horses, people, cars, lorries, bikes. <laughs> Look at that. 